In this presentation, we will discuss fiber optic cable FOC laying on underground. This activity is sometimes called cable pulling on buried HDPE pipe conduit. The duct or pipe can be buried through open trench, micro trench, or horizontal directional drilling. Using duct rudder or push rod technique is our method to present in laying the underground for the FOC. Before starting, we need to prepare these following tools and materials. Duct rudder. This tool is pushed through the duct and pulls the FOC in order to lay a cable. The duct rod is full of high tensile strength and elasticity, capable of following the conduit's route even on bending. Combination and pliers. This tool is used to tighten and cut the steel wire that will be meshed on the tip of the FOC and duct rod. Steel wire. A wire with a gauge number 16 used for tying. It will be meshed for gripping to both the FOC and duct rod. Insulating tape. This material is used as insulator made with vinyl. In this activity, we will use this as a protection to wrap the mesh wire. The first thing to do is to unwind the FOC from reel. This is done so that the cable will be easily be pulled and be set up on the handhold location. If a boom truck is present, sometimes unwinding is easier. The boom machine will carry a reel of FOC as unwinding proceeds. But this scenario is possible only if the area is spacious. Open the handholes involved to where the underground FOC will play. On this video, we will just show FOC laying on one span from handhold 1 to handhold 2. Prepare the duct rudder on the handhold 2. The unwind FOC will be situated on the handhold one, which will be pulled later. Insert the tip of the rudder onto the preferred pipe or conduit. Exert an effort to push the rudder until it will reach handhold one. A typical distance of handhold to handhold is about less than 250 meters. A duck rudder to be used should have a length from 250 meters to 300 meters, 13 to 14 millimeter rod diameter specification. When the duck rudder reaches the adjacent handhold, mesh a steel wire on its tip. Cut a steel wire about 1 meter and fold it once. Mold an eye hook on the tip and mesh the rest of the wire to the rudder. When reaching its end, tighten up the steel wire using pliers. Cut another 1 meter steel wire and fold it once. Double the mesh to withstand pulling force and to secure strength. Same to with the previous step, mold an eye hook on the tape and mesh the rest of the wire to the rudder. When reaching its end, tighten up the steel wire using pliers. After securing a mesh wire, provide an insulating tape to the tip of the rod and to where the steel wire ended or fixed. This is how the final outlook of the duck rudder tip after meshing a wire. Mesh also a steel wire to the tip of F of C to be laid. Same step with the way we mesh the tip of the rudder. Tighten up the steel wire using pliers. Double the mesh wire to ensure sturdiness when pulling is applied. Mesh in a zigzag pattern, alternate with the first one. Fix the end of the steel wire using pliers. Put an insulating tape around the neck of the molded eye. Put an insulating tape even at the end of the mesh wire. Insulation is done to ensure the smoothness of the joinings when the wire is pulled along the duct. Extra edge of the steel wire is rough and might cause sludge inside the duct 
and so it was wrapped with insulating tape. Entwine the mesh tip of the duck rudder and the FO. Make use of two run steel wire to put together the two molded eye. Fix properly the joinings using pliers. Put around an insulating tape to the joining steel wire. Make sure that both ends are still moving freely but undetachable. Insert the joint onto the duct. Start pulling the duct rudder after securing the joint of the rudder and cable at handhold. Due to the weight of the cable, we need to exert an effort to pull the duct rudder with cable attachment. Normally, it takes 8 or more personnel to work on FOC pulling due to difficulty of the job. The more heads we will pull, the less effort it exert per head, and it will be easier. When the joint reaches the handhold, untwine it, remove the mesh of both rudder and cable. After removing the duck rod attachment on the cable, we may now start the cable pulling. Reach a long pull of cable to its effort. Pulling it in a shorter distance may cause difficulty. Personnel should have a distance to each other and alternately pull every succeeding cable. At handhold 1, a team will support the cable to be pulled. There should be a team leader here coordinating with the team leader on handhold 2 to communicate each other's concern on the activity. Bank a loop of a cable on an area until all the unwinded cable at the reel will reach handhold 2. Repeat all procedures until the underground FOC laying completed from handhold 1 until the last handhold. We present a method of laying underground cable using the rudder. Other methods can be done such as blown air, the maxel utilization if it was planted on the conduit. That's all for this presentation. I hope you learned and enjoyed it.